Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Um, this is a game that's been making big waves, I think, for like two years. It's been in early access, it's available on Steam, it's also available for free on Game Pass. How interesting, that's what I used to download the game. We're gonna check it out here. It w I will say, I'm double dipping. It was recommended to me by Steam Labs. And then I went, hey, Game Pass, you got this? And it said, yeah, brother, it's free. So I said, all right, I'm sorry, Steam. Thank you for investing the funding to creating Steam Labs. I've used it against you this time, but I've used it many times in the past to your benefit as well. Um, the way I understand this, it's a game where you set up a simulated battle between two factions of your choice. Like you can see right here, you got like, I don't know, 10 dudes with clubs and maybe jetpacks or fireworks or something against a few marching Civil War era musketmen? I don't know. Let's give it a try in the campaign here. An introduction to the game. I'm eager to see how this works. It's been... I've seen other people play it on YouTube uh, a little bit, and it seems like it's fun to watch, fun to be a part of. Start it up. What, what am I doing? I don't know. Okay, hold on. There's five dudes with clubs. Okay, what are we gonna do? We're gonna learn how to rotate the screen. We cannot rotate the screen, that's also fine. Okay, hold on, we have 600 points. There's six dudes with clubs. You know what's better than six dudes with clubs? Two, three, four, five, six, seven dudes with clubs. Send them. <laughs> Red team wins, please. Press F to possess a unit. Oh! You see to switch camera mode? How did we lose? Hold on, start me up again, okay? Possess one of these individuals. Okay. I think I you just do a single flanking maneuver. It's not that complicated. Only hit the blue team, please. I think I cracked them. What a, what a horrible sound. Let, let's go. One on one battle. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, here's the thing. We got more points. Let's put a, a protector in. And uh, let's replace two club men with protectors. And then let's grab individuals. Is that something we can do here? Can I pick you up? Reach out and grab you? And then, I don't want to possess. I, I think I'm more of a watcher in these situations. Well, the protectors are jumping in and completely neutralizing their defensive advantage. But I think it's looking okay, although we have been surrounded. Oh, come on. I'm begging you, red team. You got them right where you want them. We're done. We're going to lose again. Please. Please. How on earth is such a thing even possible? Okay, here's what you do. I'm embarrassed. I'm losing the tutorial. Four spear throwers. No, two spear throwers with a protector in front of them each. And then... Two clubmen. <laughs> we can't afford anything else. It's kind of an awkward balance. Let's see. Let's see how she goes, okay? Spear throwers. Great start! And your spears just respawn in your hands, is that correct? Here they go again. Don't mess it up. They have severely messed it up. I do not like our odds, to be honest. Run. You're not running! This is an embarrassment. I apologize on behalf of me and me alone. Okay. One spear thrower. I'm trying to run the numbers here. 130 left. Two spear throwers. Many clubbers. And you know what? Spear throwers start up at the top here. 
And they get one clubman helping them out. Let's send them. I beg you, you, you have a superior numbers advantage. Terrible throw, absolutely horrible start. Some of the biggest misses I've ever seen. This is a real problem. I would recommend moving personally, were I you. Okay, he's done it. I'm done. Good sidestep! We won. Only by mine own actions, I might add. Okay. So I need to put a little finesse on it, unfortunately. But we're learning. Give me some, uh, I mean, I see many, many spear throwers. I have 800 points. To me, I mean, 10 protectors seems to me like it would beat 10 spear throwers. Let's see if that's indeed correct. Bottom flank started out okay. We lost one, but we made big roads. Hard to follow. Only two living shield men down at the bottom. But they're doing work. Once they got in there, they're doing work. We have... Oh, but we won the top. And we're doing okay on the... We've got this one sewn up. Some of the easiest money ever made. Samuel, the shield bearer. Holding down the fort. While the other boys come in, look at that. That's a group effort right there. Okay. I see... Um, are you a stoner? Is that what you are? Eight clubmen? A, a chief of... A bone mage? Okay, here's the thing. What wins here? To me, this seems like a situation where you would like to have... Let's say, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then, you can only get two clubbers here, but something tells me that we've got a good setup here. C throw the spears! Good, you've killed the bone mage. Both clubmen have eaten aggro. This is not looking amazing. I think, but look at the spears coming in. All you gotta do is land a few of those. I think we got it. I, th I think we got it locked down, honestly. Here come the next barrages. Victory. Oh, why did I have so much trouble with level one? <laughs> oh my god. This is shields and many clubmen. Where do you go with this one? Um, can I, is there any way to get information? Apparently not. I'm thinking stone guys probably do a good job of breaking shields. Let's get six of them lined up. In front of them, five protectors. A bone mage at the top, a spear thrower at the bottom. Let's send it. Not a good start on the spear throw this seems horrible this seems like a disastrous turn of events bone mage bone mage please use your bone magic this i don't even need to see this look at this they've agglomerated into a single beast they're trying to overheat him to death the bone mage got a he's coming in do it Bone Mage. Send them! Send them! <gasps> You're dead. But you it was a valiant effort. The Bone Mage did great work there. Okay, so here, I've learned something. I think I've learned something. Less of the stone throwers. In favor of multiple Bone Mages from multiple angles. And then... Protectors slowing them down. I have to be honest. Our club men didn't do too much last time. So I'm thinking let's just... Uh, let's just shore up the protection aspect here. And see how this works. 
The bone mages are the, the anti-infantry. That seemed okay. We're waiting for the next bone mage barrage. Mission severely failed. Let's end that one. This will not work. Um, I feel like less stone throwers, dude. They're not that good. Let's just put two of those sons of guns in here. And then honestly... What about a low and a high spear thrower? And then, I don't know, one clubber just to, just to do his best? The Bone Mages are doing good work. I will put... Uh, I'll be 100% straight up about that. Uh, I believe our Stone Thrower almost killed our Bone Mage. Dude, we've done it! Probably. Possibly. We did it! <laughs> Alrighty. Oh! We've moved on. What the heck are you? Farmers? Oh, now we have a, a numeric disadvantage. I'm gonna assume that's farmers and hay balers. <laughs> what I don't know. What are you? Um, well, those guys to me, they seem like they'll die in a big way to some spears being thrown. Then we got 480 left. Ooh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I didn't pay attention. Chieftain, mammoth. Can't afford a mammoth, but a chieftain. Oh! I Just let me see how it goes. Is he, is he Thanos? He's fighting back. Honestly... He was doing a good job, considering we got so many points left over. What do you do? Um, straight up, I feel like the bone mages, like one bone mage, is great to just thin the crowd. Maybe like two spear throwers to continue thinning the crowd. And then, uh, let's get three clubbers going. I think this might be enough, dude. The chieftain is very strong. Look at that. Now it's all just let the chieftain live. He's got to do as much damage as possible. Great job with the spears. We're not quite there. We're close. You can still do it. You can still do it. You can still do it. You do have to do something. Yeah, okay, but dude, this is not that far off. Honestly, I'm just like, the clubbers, maybe they're not good enough. Maybe they gotta go. Maybe instead you send three protectors. See how the mood strikes you. Love to see it. Why are the bone mages getting into a tussle, dude? That's not your prerogative. The bone mage sent them into the stratosphere. Some of the easiest money ever made. We got, uh... Maybe, they, maybe they're... They must be hail, uh, hay balers. You're walking in a straight line. I'm here to tell you that's a disastrous move. How do you counter this? Is the easiest thing in the world. Four spear throwers in the exact position that these guys are in. If you can't get four, you could put them on the parapets, dude. They'll never be able to get us. So that's those four dudes killed. One bone mage. Dead center. To get the line. And then we got a lot of riffraff. You can... Dude. Three chieftains. Captain America. Iron Man and Thor. Oh, they're, they're poison shooters. That seems bad. We are very poisoned. Great throw, dude. But one chieftain yet lives.
Please, please. Oh, come on. You're going to get sucked into the water wheel? I think we've lost. Deserved. Okay. So now that we know these guys throw poison, I have made a, a, a sincere mistake, okay? Here's how we're going to do this. Protectors. Three of these guys are going to block a lot of poison. Still need the spear throwers just behind them. One bone mage just behind that. Can't afford the mammoth yet. I'm thinking this is maybe a two chieftain. Eight clubber situation? Seven clubber situation. My mistake. Let's see. This seems formidable to me. The poison still absolutely obliterated our shield bearers. We've broken through thanks to the powers of the Bone Mage. Rush him, dude. Rush him! Great throw! We yet live! Come on. Bone Mage, you roasted him. Could you just get this final creature? Come on. Come on. Bone Mage wins. Dude, the Bone Mage is the most powerful unit ever invented. Okay. Hold on. Hold on here, okay? I got, I got some good ideas because we've recently been given access to terrain. So what I'm thinking... Is you put like protector, 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 spear throwers. And I just want to see how this looks. They do immediately start walking towards the enemy. I do not like that, but I also respect that this is a meme game. And when they say totally accurate, they don't mean totally accurate, okay? They mean have fun with it, dummy. So I'm also thinking, what if you just took, like, maximum stonage and just bowled them all over? And then you had maybe, like, some some clubbers just to, just to take care of the riffraff afterwards. This could work. That, we needed more. We needed more than that, but let's keep, it, let's keep our hopes high. Yeet the stones! Yeet the stones, dude! We're toasted? Probably toasted? Throw them. Throw the stones. Throw the infinity stone at them. Oh, okay, we were close. We were close. What do you need? Substantially less stone lords. And honestly, like, one chieftain. And I think if you just swarm them with clubbers, the world's your oyster. I think this is going to work. I, I don't think anything can stop us. The rocks are, are very powerful at the start. That seemed to do almost the same quality of job. Now, please just buy some time for our human catapults to toss in their next barrage. Good. Oh, there were direct hits. One villager versus one caveman. Very violent way for the caveman to go. Please yeet the stones. He's done it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. These guys seem dangerous at range. You are the poison throwers, though, which is also pretty dangerous. What about... Hear me out here. What about one mammoth... And two chieftains, two clubbers. Mammoth, what are you doing? You've run over the chieftain. You do get to control the mammoth. Incredible job. Nothing can stop us, I'll tell you that much. Couple of villagers left? No freaking problem, dude. I clicked on them. They will be killed. 
I have been hit. Please. Chieftain. Help me. Help me. This is an incredible story. Victory. Thank God. I was a little frightened about that one, to be honest. Do we, we, we have access to medieval units. <laughs> Finally. Okay. What do you guys have? Oh, you're, you're in... Oh, sorry. We have access to farmer units. You are medieval units. All right. Um, what would beat slow-moving knives? I have to feel like this is a double potion seller situation. And then perhaps just as much fodder as is possible. That's actually Martin Freeman from the Hobbit movies. And yes, I recognize they are called Potion Cellar. Please. One more barrage of the poison? Does the poison do poison damage or just confuse? Great shot! Okay. There are a few knights who are not completely green. Oh, if they're confused, do they do they fight each other? They do not appear to be fighting each other. They appear to be walking away from the battle. Okay, so they're not poison. They're like confusion plus debuff or something. So probably not so many Martin Freeman. Um, harvester? Seems like one Harvester. And then, uh, you know what? Six Martins. Why like this? Feel like they'll confuse. The harvester will walk in, pick up the garbage, because they're all going to be so confused about what's happening that these should be easy kills for us. And maybe this is. We have quality over quantity for once. We have been hit by our own poison. That's going to put a damper on things. <laughs> Still getting some work done. Honestly, the the potion sellers are doing a bang up job, dude. As long as the harvester lives, we have a chance. They're doing much better than expected. It still lives. It's still chunking them. Go for it. Go for it. They victory. The most unlikely victory in Tabs history. Yo, the Harvester is killer, dude. You have, uh... Well, let's let's take a look. I don't know what you are. Are you a squire? Many archers? Um, that seems bad. But what would be good against archers? Oh, maybe your bards? Yeah, those are music notes, not fire. <laughs> I still think potions might be good against archers. And then, I'm honestly, you, you're going to think I've lost it. I think one harvester, way back, and then as many halflings as possible. To just try to overwhelm them. We just want to rush the archers down as soon as possible. Very, very bad. So I have one other strat. And it's this. Hold on. Let me let me cancel this one real quick. Put the harvester up at the front. But don't shoot the arrows over top of the Martins, please. They're running like cowards. Harvester, take a swing. You got you got trapped on the retaining wall. There's only one way out, dude. You got to walk backwards. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Keep moving. Send them. Keep moving. It's a move and send situation. The archers are most dangerous. No, big miss. Big miss yet again. No missing that time. 
The bards do not want no oh, to mess with me. Missed them? That's all right. I can wait. I cannot wait. Okay, this is not the strat. <laughs> Are hay balers like protector units? Like, do they absorb uh, more hits at the start? They do absorb a couple, at least. Oh, they did a great job of breaking through. Honestly, they might do it. I think they're gonna do it. I think we found our rock, paper, scissors. Great stuff. There's only a couple of bards. Who would have thought? Oh, they they ran for their lives. For their deaths? Surely they'll drown in like a second. Dude, easy win. Alright, so that's the campaign mode. I've been having a good time with it so far. I haven't even been thinking about how much time has passed. Why don't we check out sound, uh, sandbox mode as well? And I don't know. I, like, I want to check out... Let's get a little deeper, right? Like, what about... What about a Viking sandbox? What do we have access to? We have access to everything. Spooky. Skeleton warriors. <laughs> Pirates. Renaissance units. The Viking units. Okay. What are, What is a Viking longship on the ice doing? I see. I understand now. <laughs> okay. All right, um, let's set up something, something wacky, okay? Let me think for a second here. Let me think. What if you had, let's set up a classic little thought experiment, okay? Let's pick a number. Let's say 10 musketeers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Who wins 10 Musketeers against 50 unarmed individuals? Just running them down. Place your bets. 10 Musketeers, 50 Bilbo Baggins. 3, 2, 1, go. I'm going to be honest. I'm going 50 Bilbo's in this situation. Situation. I don't see a way out of this for the Musketeers. Red vi That was not even close. Okay. You know what? Who wins? 10 Musketeers? Or 30 Bilbos starting from further away. I'm still taking the Bilbos. Mostly because apparently the distance did not matter at all. <laughs> Yo, muskets are horrible, dude. I mean, I knew they were not up to modern standards, but this is a little ridiculous. It's much closer. It's a much closer battle. No one would dispute that. Please reload. I think you still gotta go Bilbo's here. There's there's still at least 15 Bilbo's remaining, I think. One lucky shot is not gonna be enough. It's over. What a way to go, though. <laughs> Alright. What about... Ten Musketeers versus Zeus. A question that we've asked ourselves many times. Who would win? Ten okay. Confirmed. Zeus not strong. Well let's let's test the, the transitive property, shall we? Who wins? Zeus or fifty Bilbos? I 
I gotta be honest. It's not looking great for the Bilbos. It's close. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I think this is a good look at uh, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. It's still in early access, um, but a lot of fun, a good time waster, and uh, hey, a lot of people are really into these sort of sandbox games. Uh, I, I go back and forth, you know, but I, I think I'm having a fun time with this. I think we could have a fun time on a, a solo stream with it as well. I thought this was a very, uh, it's an interesting game and a good engine for absurdity. You can get it for free for Xbox Game Pass, assuming you already have Xbox Game Pass. Uh, otherwise, you will have to pay to subscribe. You can also get it on Steam. I think it's seventeen fifty Canadian on Steam, which is probably fifteen US. It's an interesting time. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!